Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Ask Amber, and in this video, I'm going to be starting a whole series of videos on how to bring the FBX that you've made in Blender into Unity and get it all completely ready to upload to VR Chat. With that being said, let's get started. So there's a couple things that you need starting out when you're about to import your model into Unity. One of them is obviously Unity itself, but just as important as that is the creator companion created by VRChat, also known as the VCC. So the very first thing you're going to want to do is download the creator companion from VRChat.com. So just log into your account and go to download and then click download the creator companion. Once it's finished downloading and you open up the Creator Companion, then usually there is an update button in the bottom left corner. And before you do anything else, you're going to want to make sure that your Creator Companion is completely up to date. Now, once you've updated Creator Companion, you're going to need the actual version of Unity that is the latest and greatest, which is Unity 2022.3.6F1. Now, this is the same as dot six. If you go to unity.com, I'll have this linked below for the specific download. 2022.3.6 is the one that you're looking for. And then add the location of that file to your VCC so that you have access to Unity 2022. Before I start making any avatars, I make sure that I have all of my add-ons enabled. And I have a list of add-ons that I legitimately will not make avatars without because they are so convenient and so awesome and most of them are completely free. So the first of these is VRC Fury. You definitely want to have this as part of your project. I've added the link below so that you can click on that and just add it as a plugin to your VCC. So every time you make a new project, you don't have to import anything. You don't have to download anything. You can just go to manage your project and add the VCC super easily. And that's how it's going to work with all of these plugins that I'm about to tell you about. So the next thing is if you want an NSFW avatar, you're going to want to include the SPS plugin as well. And this is just a really convenient plugin if you want to add NSFW elements to your avatar with one click. The next plugin that I highly recommend that I don't think enough people know about are from a creator called Dread Scripts. And these are seriously some of the most helpful things I have ever used. I use the Hierarchy Plus and also the VRC SDK Plus. Now these are super awesome. They don't change anything to your avatar, but they do change your parameters, your hierarchy, all of your menus. They make it super easy to add icons, to add and remove parameters, and also to toggle on and off objects while you're editing them within Unity. And it's much, much less work. So I highly recommend doing this. It's completely free and I've linked it below. Now there's two other add-ons that you don't need to download that come with the VCC itself. So let's go ahead and get started within VCC. So once you have your VCC open, you're going to go ahead to the top right corner and click on create a new project. This is going to open up a new screen. You're going to click on avatars 2022. That's this one right here. You're going to name your new project and you're going to pick a location for your project to go in. And then you're going to click create project. This may take a minute. Okay, now it has taken you to your packages page. So if you've installed the packages that I had you download, those will appear here. And in order to find them, you can go to the model that you just created. And instead of clicking open project, you can just click on manage project right here. Now I have a lot more plugins than I've mentioned. Some of these are paid and some of them I just don't use in general. So I'm just going to go ahead and add the ones that I have recommended. So I'm going to go ahead and add VRC Fury. I'm also going to add the Dread Scripts Hierarchy Plus. When this little window pops up, don't worry about it. Just click confirm. I'm also going to add Dread Scripts VRC SDK Plus, and I'm going to add the SPS Configurator. Now, the two that I didn't mention downloading earlier, but that actually come with the VCC, 
is Gesture Manager, which you're absolutely going to want because this will emulate VRChat's experience within Unity itself. It'll bring up your menus. You can test out everything in here. I do not make a single avatar project without Gesture Manager on it. So you definitely want to add that one. And then I'm also going to add Avatars 3.0 Manager. This one is super awesome. You can merge your FX layers and parameter layers. So if you have two FXs or two parameters and you want them to be merged together, this is where it's at. So I'm going to go ahead and add that as well. And as you go along, if there is a version update for any of these, when you go into your manage project, they will all show up. So I'm going to go back because I have actually already created another tutorial model previously that I'm actually going to use. And if I click on manage project for this one, as you can see, a bunch of the plugins that I have installed need to be updated. So just one by one, I'm going to go ahead and click all of these to make sure that they're completely up to date before I get started. Once everything is updated and I don't have any green update buttons, I'm going to go ahead and open my project and it will open my 2022 Unity. Once your Unity project is opened up, it should look a little bit like this. Now my Unity is set up a little bit differently than what yours will because I've moved some stuff around for ease of access. And I'm gonna show you exactly how I set mine up so that you can see what I do. You are welcome to move your windows around wherever you want, wherever is most convenient for you. But I like to have my hierarchy on the right hand side instead of the left right next to my inspector. So I just move my hierarchy tab until it's right in the section next to the inspector. And I keep my project right here in the bottom. That's just the most convenient. But I move my animation tab to be right next to my project underneath my hierarchy and next to the inspector so that I can have it kind of out of the way until I need it. And then when I need it, I just drag it over and there's my animation tab. Instead of having it in the same tab as my project where I have to switch back and forth from them, I like to just have it over here so that when I do need to use it, I still have access to my assets while I'm working on my animation. Another thing that I like to do is usually up here in these tabs, there is a game tab. And whenever you go into play mode, it will immediately jump to your main camera. And then in order to see what you're working with in play mode, you have to go back to your scene every single time. So for me, what I've done is I dragged my game mode down here under the inspector. You can see it right here. So if I drag it up, there is my game camera and when I push play to go into play mode, it will immediately go into this window unless it's down here. Now, if you've never used Unity before, that may not make a lot of sense, but trust me, it's a huge time saver when you use Unity a lot. So this is my basic setup. And now it's time to import some really important things that I'm going to use for every avatar. So me personally, I like to have a pretty background for my scene and not just the generic Unity background to work with. So there is a free pack of skyboxes that you can bring into Unity that you can get from the Unity Asset Store. I'm going to link these below. And like I said, there's 10 free ones in the free pack and they are awesome. And once you download them from the Unity Store, what you're going to do is go to window and you're going to go to panels and you're going to go to package manager and that's going to open up your package manager make sure that up here in the top you have my assets checked and this will be all the things that you've bought from unity as you can see i have a lot of stuff in here including the old school dynamic bone from years ago which i definitely don't need anymore but what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on All Sky Free, which is what you just downloaded, and I'm going to import that into my project. And that is automatically going to import that from the Asset Store. I'm going to go ahead and click Import, and now it's in my project, and I can either close this window or I like to add it up here next to my hierarchy, kind of hidden out of the way. So if I need to go back to it, I can. And then I'll just click back on my hierarchy. So all of these are different ones. You can kind of look and see what they might look like. This is like gray and cloudy and misty. My favorite one to use is the epic glorious pink. I love this one. And what you're going to do out of all of these is just take the round one and you're just going to drag that right into your scene. And boom, there you go. You have a really beautiful scene. And like I said, you can do it with any of the different ones. A lot of them are really cool looking. So you can totally have your pick of any of these that you want to use. 
and they are all completely free. Next, I'm going to import my shader. So I use Poyomi shaders as most people do. So in Poyomi's Discord server, there is a free shader option. I often use the pro option, which you can get by supporting their Patreon, which I highly, highly recommend. But for this project, because it is going to be your first project, we're going to just go ahead and use the tune package, which is under the free shader section of their server. So I'm going to go ahead and download this latest shader, and then I'm going to open back up my Unity and I'm going to get that shader out of my downloads and I'm going to drop it right here in my assets. Now this will take a minute because it has to import all of the assets from the shader. And then once your little import window pops up, just go ahead and click import. Once it's done importing, it should show up in your folder structure and you're ready to import the next item. Now the next thing that I'm going to import is GoGo Loco, which is a free add-on and you're definitely going to want to use this because anybody in half body will be able to have all different kinds of poses. They'll be able to float up or down. I'm sure that if you've used VR chat, you know what GoGo Loco is. So we're definitely going to include that in this project and I'm just going to go ahead and download that from the link on Gumroad. This is totally free and I have it linked below. So go ahead over to Gumroad and download the package for GoLoco. Once I have that downloaded, once again, I'm going to drag my package right into Unity and I'm going to wait for that little import window to pop up. Once it does, I'm going to click on import and there it is right in my package called GoGo. Now, the next thing I'm going to import is not a free asset, but I would have to say if you're planning on making a bunch of VRChat avatars, if you're planning on continuing forward with this, this is one of the best investments that you could make and I highly recommend it. I will be showing throughout this tutorial how to do things manually and then also how to use this plugin. So in case you don't want to buy it, you can do it the other way. But honestly, I'm going to tell you doing it manually is doing it the hard way and will take three, four, five times as long. It's called AV3 Creator. I will have it linked below and I just highly, highly recommend it. So I'm going to go ahead and download that from Gumroad as well. And I'm going to drag that package in as well, just like I did with my previous packages. Now, the first time that you use AV3 Creator, it will ask you for the license key provided in your download. So go ahead and get your license key from Gumroad and add that the first time that you try and use it. Then I'm going to import some helpful textures for myself. Now I have these listed as downloads on my website. I have some cube maps and some mat caps and they're just very generic. If you want to get some different mat caps or different textures, things like that, there's a lot of ones available on Gumroad. The ones that I have on my website are just to get you started. So if you want to head over there and download those from my downloads page, I'm going to go ahead and import my cube maps and my mat caps folder right now. So as you can see, I've just imported my mat caps. These are some of the ones that I have from many years ago, but all of these you are welcome to use in any of your projects. So you can go ahead and download those. And I'm also going to import the custom cube maps that I have made myself. And when I look in this folder, these are all of my cube maps, which work a lot like mat caps, but they're in a different section of Poyomi. They have a couple of different features from mat caps, but they can basically be used along with or in place of mat caps. So feel free to use any of these in any of your projects. They are completely royalty free and you won't get in trouble for using any of them. If you do use them, feel free to credit me or link to my YouTube channel or link to my discord which is linked below on any of your projects but these are all free for you to use in my download links from the download page on my website which will be linked below now with your hand gestures if you would like to use the generic hand gestures that come with VR chat that are just the plain basic ones you don't have to download anything new but I have a set of custom hand gestures that I made about four years ago so those are available for download on my website as well. So I'm just going to go ahead and import those right now. Now, the same person that made the plugin, the AV3 creator that I love so much, also made a package that will install all of your head pats and nose boops and everything completely for you. 
and it is super convenient and easy to use. It comes with sound effects, it comes with particle systems, and that is a $10 add-on. So that's another one that I highly recommend, totally worth it, especially if you're making more than one avatar and you plan to be making avatars in the future. A lot of people really love nose boops and head pats, and it will also be linked in the description below. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring that into my project as well and click on import. I will also have free for downloading on my website some particles that I've made that I really love and they're really easily interchangeable. I just really like mine better, but that's because I'm biased. But you can add these particles to the basic dynamics that you add to your avatar. It just adds a little bit of extra oomph to your particles. But we'll get to that in a later video. So for right now, I'm just going to add the particles folder that I've made for myself into my project, which you can do as well once you download them from my website. Next, I'm just going to clean up my folder a little bit so that I don't have a million folders all over the place. I'm just going to kind of organize that a little bit. So I'm going to create a new folder and I'm going to name this textures and I'm going to add all of my textures to this folder which includes my cube maps and my mat caps. And I'm going to put my all sky backgrounds in there as well. And I'm going to go ahead and include my particles in there as well, because the particles have a couple of textures that go with them. Next, I'm going to make another folder and I'm going to call this descriptor files because I'm going to put all of my 3.0 stuff into this folder. So I'm going to put my go loco in there and I'm going to put my hand gestures in there as well. I'm going to go ahead and leave my Poyomi shader out in the main assets just because when I do export my model, I don't usually include the shader and this will just make it easy at the end. If I wanted to sell this model, I won't have to worry about the Poyomi shader, but if I do want to include the Poyomi shader, it's also fine. It will just import into a new project exactly as the folder structure that you have here is. I also want to be sure that I leave my AV3 creator folder in my main assets because these will not be exported later on when you're exporting a model for sale because the animations that they actually create will already be in your project. So don't worry about moving these. And also it can cause errors if you move your AV3 creator out of this folder. I'm also going to make another folder in advance and I'm going to call this materials because even though I don't have any materials now, I will have some materials to add in there later. And what I like to do with my folder structure is I like to have my materials and textures really easily accessible as well as my descriptor files. So I'm going to go ahead and put an exclamation mark at the beginning of all of these so that they stay at the very top of the alphabetical list. Now that we have our folder structure really organized, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the scene and save it. So basically it's just control S or command S if you're on a Mac and it will bring up your assets folder, which is where you want to save it. And then you just name it whatever you want your model to be named. So I'm going to name my tutorial model and I'm going to go ahead and save that. And as you can see, it'll add the new scene here and it will also change the name up top. One last really important thing in Unity is that it does not have an auto save. So when you're working on your project, make sure that you save often because if you do a whole lot of work and Unity crashes, you will lose everything. So just when you're using Unity, get really used to that control S because you're going to want to save it over and over. And the way you can tell that it's not saved is after your name up here in your scene, it'll have a little asterisk and that means it's not saved. So once you click control S, it will save it. So the very last thing I'm going to do before I import my model and get ready for it is I'm going to add gesture manager to my hierarchy. So I'm going to go up here to tools and I'm going to go to gesture manager emulator and that will add gesture manager to my hierarchy, which is amazing. Now with all of your folders here, your scenes saved, all of your plugins installed and everything ready to go along with your background, it's time to import your model, which we will do in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. I love you all and I'll see you in the next one.